I woke up at five o'clock for work this morning, per usual, and Julie got up and made me a big breakfast, per usual, even though my wife doesn't have to be at work until 10 o'clock. So she goes back to bed and she's just about ready to fall asleep when she gets awoken by a big grizzly bear type growl. You see, it was a major catastrophe. The zipper on my jacket had got stuck again on the way up the door. I'm Jeff McCory and I'm a complainer. I can complain about the littlest of things. My cougars are throwing the ball too much these days. Jack used up all the toilet paper and didn't replace the roll. Last year at this time, we had nine inches of rain in January. Now we've got 13. You get the idea. But what if I really had a problem? What if I had to sell cleaning product door to door? And what if I had to do it on a seven mile stretch by foot where each step was more painful than the last? And what if my cerebral palsy caused me to have a speech impediment that actually scared people or at least made them feel uncomfortable? Then I'd have a problem, wouldn't I? And that, my friends, is the true story of Mr. Bill Porter. Now, Bill was born in 1932 in San Francisco, California, but he and his mom moved to Portland, Oregon about 10 years later. And after high school, he couldn't wait to get out in the workforce. So he starts interviewing for sales jobs, but it usually went something like this. Mr. Porter, you would be a perfect candidate for disability. Mr. Porter, I'm sorry, but you're just not employable. Why won't you go on disability? And every night, Bill would come home with tears in his eyes, and his mom would say to him, Bill, I'm not going to let you be a victim. Bill, you have to imagine getting a yes. If you can imagine it, you can do it. So he kept on until one day he actually talked himself into a job. He said to the general manager, give me the worst seven mile stretch of downtown Portland, the route that nobody else wants. And if I sell product, you're a hero. And if I don't sell product, you're not out anything. Less than a decade later, Bill Porter was national salesperson of the year for Hawkins Incorporated. All because he had a mom that refused to let him be a victim a mom that convinced him, if you can imagine it, you can do it. And with that, I thank you.